Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 with the Flying Fent. This is Orthodox Ottomans, episode number 89. Uh, we're letting our manpower come up, if you recall from the last episode. That's pretty much the only thing that I recall. It, uh, it's been quite some time. For me, for you, it was yesterday that I... Oh, look at that, I can repay loan. How many loans do I have? Four. All right. Forgot I had loans. I can do a new idea group. Uh, I don't know which one I'll take there, so I'm going to leave that for now. Convert the Infidel. Absolutely, we'll take that one. It's such a fantastic mission. You finish it instantaneously, pretty much. Bonk. Right like that. Portugal's Defender of the Catholic Faith. None of you people. None of y'all are getting access. Okay, what next? Improve defenses in Aleppo. Restore the Pentarchy and conquer Egypt. Well, let's improve defenses in Aleppo. I know I say I hate doing these because you just end up doing them over and over and over again, but whatever. I get free five army attrition every time I do it, I suppose, so I might as well do it. It's not going to hurt me to, to do them, get that uh, that free army tradition. All right, so all these armies need to recover, but um, they're not going to because my army maintenance is at zero. Yep, which is fine because I'm working on recovering manpower. Not a problem. I do have some revolt, but it's not very much, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's just like... Uh, game loading bug nonsense type stuff. Uh, if we look over at our Imperial Authority, we still have three or four people, I'm sorry, out of seven voting for us, so we're going to maintain the uh, the crown here of Emperor. And if we look, some people are starting to come to our side. Uh, we just need to get a few more to switch over. We'll examine that in a moment as well. I wanted to check out the status of my truces because it's been a while. Okay, so I'm at a truce with a billion people. Do I have a truce here? I do not have a truce with the Mamluks. Okay. Uh, I have no Casus Belli with them, so that's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Kazan, I believe I have a truce. I don't. The truce has expired. Okay, now is this still their capital? Uh, it is. Who are they allied with now? Same people? Same people. Uh, so there's no point going after them. What we wouldn't mind doing, though, would be going after the Mamluks. Uh, conquering Egypt would be a good one to do. We do have a mission for that, or we will be able to take a mission for that soon. Uh, and that would involve kind of getting everything over here, I believe it was. Everything on this side. Uh, and that might be something that we want to look at. That would weaken the, the Mamluks significantly. Uh, I would prefer to kind of go this way, take some coastal provinces, you know, Gillen, uh, like Karen, uh, but Gillen, uh, Ardabil, and Azerbaijan. Uh, get those first, that we have access to the Timurids, and then we can kind of, you know, bounce our wars back and forth between the two. Uh, that might be interesting. We could work our way down towards Najd and Yemen and Hedges and all that stuff. Uh, then come this way, take care of Ethiopia and up across through Tunisia and into Castile. Uh, but really, I'd like to get that bridge going towards the Timurids so we can start working on India. The nice thing is, look how grouped they are. So it wouldn't be hard, right? It's just like four countries we got to keep beating up to, to deal with, uh, with India. So that's still a possibility. The other thing is that we need to focus on, of course, is uh, Russia. And uh, additionally, all of these kind of small countries here that are not part of the empire up in this area, there's not a lot of them left. Anything that's in, in the empire, not worth going to war with, to be honest. Uh, the goal is to get them all through reforms. But the others, yeah, definitely, we want to work on them. So, okay, let's go ahead and unpause. We'll start uh, getting that manpower to recover and whatnot. Good, we are annexing somebody. I have a free diplomat. Let's see, what am I working on here? This is Friesland. Poland and Naples. Friesland should be somewhere in here. Yeah, so Hano must be where we left off. Let's see what improved relations are like here once I get all these menus open. Hano. Improved relations are max, so we obviously did you. How about Liege? Liege. You did not. Okay, let's improve relations with Liege. Uh, Luxembourg. Has that been done? Mm, it has, but not in a while. And then the Hansa obviously needs to be done as well. Okay, good. So we're improving relations there. We got some free money. We uh, can repay, gain imperial liberation against Cologne. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Uh, let's go ahead and repay a loan and reduce our inflation. Uh, Cologne. Uh, over here, right? Who are you allied with? Mainz, the Palatinate, and Luxembourg. 
Mainz, the Palatinate, and Luxembourg. Well, that might be a good war. I'm going to wait till one of my diplomats finishes. One should be done soon. I don't know which one, but one of them. I mean, they can't all be busy, right? One more, so there you go. We'll be done with Friesland right away. Should be coming home now. Recall the diplomat. Good in 20 days. Uh, and I don't even really have to do anything here. My allies and vassals. I mean, uh, you know, Brandenburg alone should be able to liberate Cologne. So let's do it. Let's, uh, oh, they'll vassalize? Really? No, we could vassalize Cologne, uh, but there's no reason to, right? They're in the Empire. So let's go ahead. Let's go for that, uh, oh, someone has turned against it. Oh, someone's changed their mind. Well, yeah, so let's go for the um, Imperial points. What are they called again? Imperial authority, that's the term. Let's go for that by declaring war here. Mainz, uh, Portugal might join them. Go ahead, Portugal. Join away. Uh, Ansbach is coming. Augsburg, Brandenburg, Mantua, Naples. Oh, you know what I didn't consider? And I should have. Uh, Portugal is going to become the war leader here, aren't they? File in it, Mainz, Luxembourg. They, yeah. So Portugal has joined. Portugal has become the war leader, and unfortunately now they can call in all their allies. Who do they have allies? allies? France, Aragon, and Aachen. It doesn't look like France is going to join, though. Which I wouldn't expect France to. I wouldn't, frankly, I wouldn't even expect them to get called in. But there you go. So Portugal has decided to be uppity. Now that causes us some grief, because we are going to have to go siege Portugal. Uh, but I'm not too worried about it, because I'll just go through France and Castile. If I even need to. Oh. Now i got to put down somebody else's rebels, of course. Of course. Uh, Alright, as morale comes up, I can slowly squeak my army maintenance higher and higher. I'm just going to kind of do that bit by bit. It'll make things a little bit easier for me to do it that way. Out of curiosity, what's Portugal's navy like? Let's take a look. They should be one of the biggest. Ah, there you go, they are the biggest. With 13 light ships and 8 heavies. Well, wow. Portugal, where's your navy? I got a bone to pick with you. Go ahead and get my navy kind of moved out and into the region. Uh, my fortress in Romania is under attack. Not worried about it. Low maintenance, yeah, I know. It's, it's going to come up, don't you worry. Another unit hit full strength? I don't think it did. I don't think a unit got to full strength. I think it's taken its time kind of getting morale. Ooh, what kind of general do you have there? A 6643. Holy smokes, Portugal. What exactly were you doing to get a 6643? Uh, now while I'm here, let's take a look at what we can get in a peace treaty. Start making our plans here. Algiers and Galicia. How big is Algiers? Pretty big apparently. Oh, one province. I don't even care. Although, yeah, I don't even care. So we need to uh, win the siege here so that we can ask for Cologne to uh, release somebody in a peace deal. Uh, there we go, make it six gold a, a month. So let's turn this up again. Are your rebels still here? They are. And they're at plus seven. I'm going to have to get in there fairly soon. Uh, good. Improved relation with Mazovia is done. Okay. Uh, you are a vassal, are you not? You are not. But you will become one once the war is over. Perfect. Alright, so my armies are marching to war. Let's go ahead. We can raise our maintenance some more. You know what? I can max it now. I'll recover that much quicker. And it's only going to take uh, probably a month or two until everybody is maxed in size and then I won't be losing money anymore from having my uh, military maintenance. Lost the Siege of Romania. Not too worried about it. That's Portugal being clowns. Um, it's really not going to be a big deal. That's actually where I'm going. All my allies are dealing with everything, are dealing with everything else. So I'm going to do is take three units and come to Romania. And the rest of my armies are going to start marching over here. 
And that's with every intention of getting military access from France, which I have. Aragon probably won't give it to me. Navarra is a vassal of Castile, and I should be able to get military access from Castile. Now, I think that gives me access through Navarra. I think. Let's find out. It does not. So we have to go after Navarra separately. That's kind of a pain. So there's relationships that I didn't want to have to be dealing with and sucking down my points, but there we go. Uh, where's their capital? Let's go after that first. Lisboa. There we go. All right. Armies are moving out. We attacked our enemy here in Karabakh. We'll win with one army, but we have a second one coming just in case. Must be declared war on Kazan. Fair enough. This is Karakoinlu Nationalist. That'd be great, wouldn't it, if Karakoinlu spawned? And it looks like they will. I mean, just judging by the rebels going on here. Um, I will gain the two base tax in a turn. And I will keep the mercantilism. That much is for sure. Improved relations with Ferrara. Don't really care. Conquer Egypt. Yeah, I really like that Conquer Egypt one. I also have really like the Conquer the Levant one. Uh, but I'm going to hold off on doing either right now, to be completely honest. Uh, because I have bigger fish to fry in the form of war. I do have a free diplomat, though, so let's go ahead and send him to... Luxembourg was next. I believe it was. Why can't I improve relations? Oh, I'm at war with Luxembourg. Okay. Utrecht, how would you like to have improved relations? You would. Very good. And in fact, it'll be long enough that we declare peace that we can go and work on the Hansa as well. We shouldn't have to worry about it. Everyone should be back by the time that's done. So what's going on here? Ticking war score. Yeah, it's okay, sure. That will change when we take Romagna back, which won't take too long. Lost the Siege of Abruzzi. Sure. Enjoy it, Portugal. Enjoy it while it lasts, because it's not going to last very long, let me tell you. Um, don't bother taking care of Aragon's rebel problem. Let Aragon deal with its own rebel problem. But come out here and uh, help Mantua, our vassal. Some more Karakoinlu nationalists are crossing the border. Uh, and, uh, of course, they walk straight into our armies. Which was bad news for them, but, uh, you know, there's... Kind of a reason why I had armies there, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, so, there you go, Luxembourg. Uh, five Patriarch Authority. I will not, I do not want to gain it. Here goes Portugal's army. Where are they going? Par they lost because they jumped in at the last possible second. Which is, of course, a silly, silly thing to do. They're going to Parma. They're probably going to retreat all the way. Uh, honestly, there's not much I can do about that. If you look at how far I'd have to go to catch them. Uh, so what I am going to do, though, uh, because they could easily come back, is let's go ahead and move one army there. I'll move one army to Abruzzi, and the second one can sit in Roma. Or the third one, I'm sorry, can sit in Roma. And that way when Portugal does come back, which they inevitably will, I'll have armies there and ready. Meanwhile, my armies over here are going to deal with sieging down Portugal. So the tides are very quickly about to turn on Portugal. I'm curious though, it doesn't look like their army is retreating all the way, which means they probably were stopping in Parma. And I should have just attacked them there. Shoot. Where did we engage them? Lisboa, which we already finished. They were just recruiting new units. Yeah, they're probably sitting in Parma. So in preparation of them coming back this way, I'm just going to go ahead and... Ah! Aha! We should have gotten a pop-up about that, no? You are a country of special interest. You are not, that's why. Very good. So, Karakoinlu, hello. Thank you for being there. I look forward to going to war with you soon. Alright, now that we're kind of in enemy territory, I'm just going to slow things down by one little tick. Alright. Alright. Good. So let's go ahead. That's their capital, right? Yeah, so let's go for Alentejo. We'll go for Piera. And we will go for Coimbra. We will take Algalve. And we will 
the portal. Yep. Siege, my friends. Siege to your heart's content. There we go. Sue became a protector of France. That's fine. The Mamluks have left the coalition against us. That's also fine. There we go. Won that battle. Won that battle. Won that battle. Won all those. Perfect. In fact, to speed this up and to avoid more reinforcements from spawning, let's just do that. So we're carpet sieging Portugal's mainland. Uh, we have laid, okay, right, uh, laid siege. We attacked them in, a, okay, so they obviously had an army there. Good, all right. Sieges have begun everywhere. Portugal has an army somewhere in this vicinity. And I believe it forms the bulk of their forces. We have enough military and transport to defeat Portugal, so as soon as we start taking territory, we can move the transports over there, board people on them, and then head down, uh, head down into their uh, African holdings, and uh, maybe beat up on Portugal down there too. Should be fun. Should be very fun. Have they converted all these lands, by the way, out of curiosity? They have too. Holy smokes, that took a lot. Oh, unless they vassalized, I suppose. So if we wanted to, we could take some land from Portugal down here. And that might seem silly initially, but we are going to expand this way eventually, right? So might not be a bad idea down the road. Okay, the Palatinate wants a peace offer. What do you want? You want to give Oberpals? No, I don't want to take territory from you, Palatinate. Um, would you do something else for me? 73, 48, 9, nine more. Okay, so it won't take long. Oh, here comes Portugal's army, and you're sitting in Mantua. Just fair enough. Sit there. That's cool. We got minus 28, so you've barely started sieging it. All of your holdings are about to go down in uh, on the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, new mission, is it? Uh, no, still the same ones. Okay. Comanche became a protector of France. So there does seem to be a bit of a battle going on for control in the New World, and that's fine. I, I really don't care about the uh, control of the New World. So we won the Siege of Romagna. We have this army sitting in Ancona. How many does Naples have here? 7,000. So I have my 20. Naples has 7. Let's say attach to. Do they want Are they going to attach? They did attach. So right here we have 47,000. We could come and potentially beat up on Portugal. Now, I wouldn't mind putting a leader in there. Which one do I want? I want this one. Uh, so let's go ahead, select army, create new unit, move everybody out, select the old one, it was disbanded, we get our general back. I don't know, that might reset the siege timer, I'm not entirely sure, and if it does, that's whatever, I don't care, to be completely honest. Uh, so there we go, I'm going to sit this guy back, actually, for a second, till these guys get in on the 15th, so I'm going to wait until, like, the, there we go. And now, they're going to Modena. Are you still going to come to Modena? No, now you want to go to Ferrara. Okay, I'll meet you there. Uh, we have engaged them. Uh, I believe... We got there first, so they took a water crossing. And now we're going to reinforce... Oh, they're going to get beat. You's are going to get beat, Portugal. And I'm going to follow you. Wherever you may go. Okay, good. We've got a diplomat back. Fantastic. We can start negotiating some peace treaties, potentially. There we go. Uh, my fleet is not doing trade because it goes home at war. So what I'm going to do is come to the Adriatic. It can help siege to bring this down. I could move this out here to siege, but I would take a fair bit of attrition. However, look at that. Lisboa is almost done. Let's move out here. We should be able to dock up there once we take control of it, so that will work out. We've also got a few people ready for peace. So those are the things we're going to look at in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.